Hello everyone, this is Ram Prasad Venugopal from Informatica GCS. This video covers Data as a Service BES REST APIs with Informatica MDM. The agenda of the video. We will see a small introduction on the topic, prerequisite for using DAS REST APIs, available DAS BES REST APIs, about get DAS metadata, about DAS search, about DAS read, write merge REST API, reference on this REST APIs, followed by demo. Introduction REST APIs for Business Entity Service Overview Representational state transfer REST endpoint calls make all business entity services available as web services. You can make REST calls to create, update, delete and search for base object records and related child records in the business entity. You can perform operations such as merge, unmerge and match records. You can make REST calls to create, update and search for tasks and perform tasks. You can also make REST calls to create, update and delete files such as attachment for tasks or records. Before you use the REST APIs to call the business entity services, validate the operational reference store. A REST business entity service call is a web service request in the form of a Uniform Resource Locator URL. The MDM Hub assigns a unique URL for each base object in a business entity. You can use the unique URL to identify which base object to create, update or delete. You can specify either the business entity or business entity view in the URL of most REST API calls. For example, the Create Record REST API call can use the following format. HTTP, the host port, contacts, database ID, the business entity name, source system equal to the name of the source system. In this video KB, we, we shall cover the data as a service DAS related REST BES APIs. Prerequisites Please go through the prequel video KB overview of MDM integration with data as a service. Informatica MDM application running with DAS configurations. Postman tool to fire the DAS BES APIs. DAS BES REST APIs. The following are the available DAS BES REST APIs. Get DAS metadata, DAS search, DAS read, write merge, DAS import, DAS update. We shall cover get DAS metadata, DAS search, DAS read, write merge as part of this video KB with demo. Get DAS metadata. The get DAS metadata REST API returns information about a DAS provider such as the name, the type, the business entity it works with and the list of the required fields. The API uses get method. The get DAS metadata URL has the following format. The provider name parameter is a required parameter. The parameter is the name of the configured DAS provider. DAS search. The DAS search REST API uses some input fields of the business entity to call an external DAS service and transform the response into a list of records. The API uses POST method. The DAS search URL has the following format. In the request body, provide the details of the business entity with the required fields. DAS read. The DAS read REST API uses some fields of a business entity to request an external DAS server and transform the response into a full record. The API uses the POST method. Specify the required field in the request to the DAS provider. The DAS read URL has the following format. In the request body, provide the details of the record with the re required fields. Write merge. The write merge REST API accepts a list of records retrieved from the DAS provider persist them in separate XREFs with the appropriate source system and merges them into a single record. All XREFs belong to the same record. The API uses the POST method. The write merge URL has the following format. The request body should contain an XML or JSON element of the type dasentity.pager from the URN CO base informatica.mdm namespace. Reference To read about data as a service BS REST APIs with Informatica MDM, 
please review the business entity services guide demo now let's proceed with the demo this demo will be of two parts first i will fire the rest calls from postman we will go through the request we sent and the response we get next we will perform this operation in e360 ui and inspect the network transactions we will review the same rest calls from HAR report the first rest call we will be seeing is the get DAS metadata this will return information about the DAS provider we request for the URL will be combination of channel which is HTTP here host and port which is localhost 8080 for this demo context which will be the default value of CMX last years Database ID will be localhost MDM sample. Meta, since we are requesting for metadata, DAS, metadata about DAS, and the DAS provider name. The DAS provider name can be taken from provisioning tool, extensions, DAS provider, which we have configured already. We have two DAS providers, customer search mock and detailed company profile mock. We can copy the name from here and tag it along with the request we have. This request uses get method. When we send this, we can see the metadata of the DAS provider as response. We can see the provider name, the provider type, business entity, system name and the required fields as they are configured in the provisioning tool we can also see the metadata of detailed company profile mock das search call das search call uses the das provider component which is of provider type search so we can use customer search mock DAS provider for search call. This DAS provider has required fields which is display name. So we have to mandatorily pass display name along with the request as body. DAS service will send the list of matched records as response. DAS read call. DAS read call uses the DAS provider component which is of provider type read. We can use detail company profile mock for read call. From the list of matched records returned from the search call, we have to choose the best match and send its details as the payload of the read call. As you can see, we are sending the Apple Incorporates details as the payload for read call here whatever we choose we get the same response as this is a das mock service in real time scenario complete details of the matched record will be sent as response by das service write merge bs rest call this write merge bs rest will transform the response into a full record and add it to the business entity the output of the das read call is sent as payload for this write merge entity here we can see parent organization record is added and the unique mdm id is provided as a result along with the added address child records now let's see how this works in ui for this we'll try to create an organization record i am going to inspect as to see the network transactions If we provide any name and click on get matches, DAS search call is fired. Here we can see DAS search call is being fired and the list of matched records can be seen in the response. When we choose any record and click on import, we can see the DAS read call is fired and response contains the detailed information of the matched record. This response is sent as the payload for the write merge call.
and the response of the write merge call will be the unique MDM ID. In this write merge, we can see two data for two cross reference. One for the admin source system to which this E360 application is linked, and the other for DNB source system from where the detailed information comes from. Both records will be inserted and the cross reference with highest stress configuration survives. We would love to hear from you. You can provide your valuable feedback to us through support videos at informatica.com or you can reach out to us through twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.